Let's see them fix this with medication. <laughs> Get ready to laugh and hopefully learn a little because today we are breaking down and reacting to what I am told are memes that only video gamers will understand. All right, let's dive right in. Doctor told me to play outside. Playing outside actually is really good. See the sun, get your vitamin D, helps with circadian rhythm. We're inside, dark rooms, up all night, the circadian rhythm and our sleep patterns get all messed up. When you found out that if you die during your surgery, mom will sell your Legos. <laughs> Okay, I'm not a big fan of Legos because I don't want to step on them. I've never seen a Lego injury come to the emergency department, but obviously you can search it and find that people step on Legos all the time and cause injuries. People do actually die during surgery. Depending on your situation, sometimes you actually do like pre-op labs and things like that to see if you are at high risk for a bad outcome. But yes, you want to know what the risk is so you know going in, but if you don't do the surgery, you're good to die anyway. Let's see them fix this with medication. <laughs> Is that an Xbox controller on an x-ray? People are always yelling at me for saying that people don't have nasal bones. You can actually see the very small nasal bone that is there. But it's probably a younger individual because of the way the bones look. They look fantastic. So if I eat this apple, will it keep myself away? Oh my gosh. So very funny, I do eat apples. They're very good for you. They're satiating, dense carbohydrates, good for energy, good to actually keep you awake, especially on night shifts that I do, and they're actually good for your teeth. So all those gamers out there, if you need energy and you wanna try something different, instead of energy drink, try an apple and let me know what happens. Male, female. Gamer, that is hilarious. Those are the symbols that we use for a real shorthand, male versus female. The only way I can remember this stuff is the male, you know what? Then the female I know is just opposite that. And the gamer is a USB symbol, very interesting. Operates with bare hands, goes into battle with gloves. <laughs> exactly. The majority of the reason why we actually use gloves is to prevent the physician or the provider from spreading disease processes around. In this situation, unless you have open skin where the blood can get into or open lesions, the doctor's actually probably okay. It's just not sanitary, right? It's gross, you get in blood, it can get in your nails, you can get underneath, and then, you know, there's fecal matter, blood, spit, sputum, all the vomit, and then he's ready to go into battle, got the gloves on. Maybe he needs a better grip on his medigun. Full health, full ammo, full catheter. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people come into the emergency department with distended bladders and they have urinary retention. The most common reason for urinary retention is an enlarged prostate in males and will use a Foley catheter. Man, you get a signal to go to the bathroom when your bladder is about 400 milliliters full. We'll see people distended abdomens. I can feel their bladder. I've seen people come in where they empty out like two liters of urine into these bags that are down hanging underneath the bed. Oh, awful. All those gamers out there, get up, go to the bathroom. The more the urine sits there, it actually increases the risk of urinary tract infection. So please get it out. Jewish doctors be like, well, money becomes a matter of faith. And that's what I'm here for, to make you believe. This character actually looks really cool. You see, you know, deltoids, biceps. You see a little bit of abdominal muscles, obviously all the ribs and the bones. Please. Refresh my memory, tell me in the comments what game this is. As for the meme, I don't really know. Video game addiction is officially considered a mental disorder. Who says? Me, <laughs> right in the pinballs. Addiction in itself is a broad diagnosis. You can be addicted to pretty much anything. Now, the WHO, the World Health Organization. Really funny meme where you have the, <laughs> the symbol of the World Health Organization with the caduceus, which is the snake around the stick, hitting him in the groin. I'm not 100% clear on the meme, but the WHO is hitting you where it hurts. Years of gaming, oh my gosh. It looks like a bicep and it's freaking hilarious. You got the, the veins going there, so it's so much like trigger pulling. You can actually rupture some connective tissue within the fingers and you can actually get it to where you can't extend. So if you actually rupture this extensor tendon, you can actually end up with a finger this way. What we'll end up doing is put you in a hyperextension splint so it can actually reheal itself. 
when the school nurse gives you a band-aid for your broken arm so you got this whole awesome school nurse ready to go but gave a band-aid for a broken arm mm. you need to get that individual to the urgent care or to an emergency department so we can get an x-ray reset the bones if we need to put the patient in a splint get the person to the orthopedic surgeon in the next few days to have it evaluated for possible surgery versus a cast acid head banded blinding a thousand people we see people come to the emergency department with chemical burns to the eyes often you need to wash in a wash station for about five to 15 minutes then we need to do exams to see if the tissue has been burned away are you gonna have chronic scarring do you need to see an ophthalmologist make sure that you actually use safety glasses when you're doing anything that could actually fly up in your eye that is something that we see very common after looking around the room for two minutes, my wife says, I can't find the case for the wood. What is that? And it's doom. It is not wood. Actually holding it appropriate, either hold it all the way on the edges, right? Or in the middle. And then, yeah, it needs to be in the case so it doesn't scratch and ruin the game. Game developers, microtransactions, and you. So the gamers develop these beautiful games. Then you can get the game for free. And then, oh no, there's add-ons. You gotta pay for this, pay for this. All these microtransactions. And then it, it just costs the same amount as getting the game if you bought the whole darn thing to begin with. A vegans realizing they can't beat their meat. Is Mario a vegan? You can choose your diet as you want. Just make sure you're getting the appropriate nutrients. Be healthy, happy, and make sure you have energy by the foods that you're intaking. Me testing is there fall damage. What game has like the worst fall damage? Like if you actually fall, that takes away so much of your health. Grand Theft Auto, right? If you fall from a great height, you'll be dead in the game and you gotta restart. I see people all the time who fall. We get people who have ground level falls, meaning they literally fall from a standing position. That can actually crack your skull open, cause bleeding. Then you see people who fall from first story, third story, fifth story. And obviously the higher you go, the greater the resulting damage. I don't believe that man's ever been to medical school. <laughs> I do not wear this at work because it gets dirty. Look how nice and white this is, it's beautiful. I work with blood, guts, vomit, poop, and all this other stuff. Like, I don't want that to get stuck on this and I have to wash it every single time. If people do wear it in the merch department, they should wash it every single time. When your wife is into gaming too, stamina, mana, health, drink a potion and feel better. This, this is, is awesome. awesome. There are different things that you can potentially take to increase stamina, increase your health. You know, people I know, especially gamers, will take supplements to help with focus and energy and definitely using caffeine. All right, these memes were really good. I got almost all of them, which means I'm probably in the gaming world and I understand it. No, I'm just kidding. I hope you guys all like this video. Make sure that you definitely binge watch this playlist right here. And do me a favor, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and turn on your bell notifications. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.